Hi y'all folks, this is Max from uh, High on Android.com where we get high on Android every day. Um, anyway, today we're, let's do a quick test between the AT&T um, HTC One X which comes with a dual core um, versus the One X uh, on my left which is an international with the quad core processor. Um, so to do a fair test, I've turned off sync uh, for both phones. All right. And uh, I'm going to do the recent apps and kill all my recent apps here, all right? Kill all of them. All right, and we'll do a fair test here. Uh, first, we'll run Quadrant, um, since that's, I think it's a good test. So let's run Quadrant for both. Both are running the same versions of Quadrant that I just downloaded off the Play Store. Um, and also, you should notice you know, not just the numbers, which one actually finishes the test fast. I've noticed that Quadrant actually gives you a number, um, but a lot of times one of the phones will finish sooner um, and sometimes they'll have a lower number. But, uh, you know, it's common sense. The one that finishes earlier is actually the winner, not the one with the higher number. Um, so this way we can actually see which one is actually faster. So, um, the HCC One X, the international one, definitely has an advantage uh, from the quad-core processor. Um, so a lot of the benchmarks were just giving you the numbers, but you can clearly see um, it, the quad-core is actually working much, much faster. What can I? What else can I say? But um, it, actually, the AT&T one is catching up pretty quickly now. Um, all right, so quad-core definitely won there. Uh, 4301 on the quad core uh, international one and also uh, 4901 on the AT&T so this is what's wrong with quadrant um, that's why it's not reliable uh, because the quad core clearly finished first um, but this one gives you a higher score and if we look at the number the actual numbers here at the bottom um, you'll see you'll see total 4301 um, CPU, we've got 13012 versus uh, the AT&T 8278, so CPU is definitely faster. Memory, 3479, 7373 uh, on the right. I.O., um, 1617, 5656 on the right. Um, so I.O. is definitely much faster on the... I'm not sure about that one. And the 2D and 3D scores about even. But CPU is definitely faster. It seems like the bottleneck is the I/O and the memory for this. Um, again, these these numbers aren't really exact. Um, clearly, the quad core won, um, but the number based on the quadrant test is actually based off the I/O and stuff, um, which doesn't actually make sense uh, since the I/O was actually faster on this one. We'll we'll go run it again really quick and see which one actually finishes the I.O. I.O. is the fat, uh, this part right here. So we'll, we'll count uh, when this one gets to I.O. how many seconds it goes versus this one. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six seconds on the left, all right? This one's starting, one, two, three. Wow, that is faster, you know what? So the file I.O. system is faster. Um, but again, this one did finish much quicker, um, so that's why Quadrant, Quadrant isn't really super reliable. I think you actually also have to look at which one actually finished um, first. So I'll have to give the Quad Core an edge, and that's where Quadrant uh, benchmarking isn't accurate. Um, I've seen that happen. So I don't know, leave your thoughts, um, but um, definitely I think the Quad Core is faster, not just the numbers. Now, look at the numbers again. Um, 4300, 5000 on the right. Um, so, yeah, but uh, CPU is definitely faster. Um, what can I say? So, let's go into the next test here. Let's close up all the apps here. And we'll do in 2 2, which is uh, supposed to be a little bit more accurate. Um, but we'll also look at uh, which one actually finishes first in real life. So I'm going to start test, boom, at the same time. And you know, that's why you, you have to you have to actually look at the performance. Um, 
the numbers just add up the numbers and it doesn't actually show you which one actually finished first. Um, you can see that they're all about even here. Alright, 14%. Almost exactly the same for CPU and memory. But I would have to say the quad core processor should have an edge. But they're going exactly the, at the same rate. Um, but um, if you're asking me which one you should get, definitely get the unlocked version. AT&T version uh, bootloader is still unlocked. Uh, bootloader is still locked. You can't install any custom ROMs. Um, it's a deal breaker. Oh, there we go. C CPU integer performance. Um, the international is leading uh, by a whopping eight percent there. And uh, that's one thing I noticed with the AT&T. It comes with the lock bootloader. I don't know when it's gonna. It should get unlocked, but um, definitely the unlocked version already has a ton of ROMs. Um, great support from the open source community. I, I don't know any reason why you would want to get um, the AT&T version if you had a choice. So there you go. The One X with the quad core um, has a clear lead in the uh, test speed here. You can see it's already there. It's already on the um, that um, what is that thing? It's kind of snake test there. And frames per second, um, it's about the same. There we go. And we're almost done here. And we'll find out which one is actually the winner. And a lot of the news reports they only show you the numbers. They didn't actually show you a video. And I'm showing you exactly which one is faster. Um, not based on the numbers, but which one actually finishes the test quicker, which is, you know, which is a valid test, not just numbers. And you know what? Screw the numbers. Numbers doesn't matter. Like, it's how fast your phone actually runs. And this actually shows you that the international one is much faster. Yeah, look at that. It's already on uh, SD card. And the SD card, since these phones don't have SD card, um, there should be a fair test uh, for the SD card part, but we'll see what numbers Antutu brings at the end. Um, s seems like AT&T actually is uh, catching up because um, it has faster I/O speeds um, based on the quadrant test, but uh, we'll see here. So one 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 five eight. All right, for the. Um, for the 1X quad core versus AT&T um, much much slower um, so there you have it um, definitely the quad core is faster I'm not sure all those numbers they didn't actually show you this but you can see all the tests finish quicker on the 1X um, international version versus um, the AT&T version with the dual core dual core simply cannot handle the quad core I mean it's you know, it's it's not rocket science here, and uh, I have other phones like Galaxy S2 um, or Galaxy Note. One, the international runs quad, uh, not quad core, but um, X, no, Exynos processor versus um, the U.S. version, which is actually clocked higher. But um, in real life, my unlocked uh, Galaxy Note international version runs super fast with no lag. Where's the uh, AT&T version always has lag and also there's also you should remember that there's patent issues um, with the touch screen and everything uh, so the unlock versions have less patent issues um, so Samsung didn't have to um, you know go around and uh, do all these fixes whereas the US versions always get crippled with those um, things you don't see that's happening in the background with all those patent things going on um, that's why you get the crappier version anyway that was just a quick test. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, but I think that was a very fair test. All the all the quadrant and Antutu definitely the unlock version is the way to go and it's faster, you know. There. Anyway, if you have a HTC One X um, and if you want to root your phone, custom ROMs and stuff like that, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, onexroot.com. Uh, we update you once or twice a week with uh, ROM reviews, hacks, tips, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in touch with me via email um, directly to my inbox. And I don't share your email with anyone else but uh, my dog. And uh, um, if you're on YouTube, um, please, please hit that like button for me. It helps me greatly. 
and uh, hit that subscribe button if you have thanks a lot and uh, use that share button to share with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus um, showing that the real winner is the uh, the international quad core processor um, and thanks you guys for supporting my channel um, and this is my temporary channel while uh, my my main channel Zetomax is uh, temporarily disabled um, you can also go subscribe there if you would I would highly appreciate it and thanks you guys always for supporting my channel um, and uh, stay high on Android yeah <laughs>